Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, series of lectures on digital VLSI. Uh, today in the part 4, uh, we are going to learn how, how to import the Stanford University CNFET model into uh, Cadence Virtues. So first and uh, foremost thing we need to do is we need to download the model, uh, the Verilog A model from the uh, Stanford University web page. You can uh, search for Stanford University CNFET model. So you will get on to uh, this site. Uh, so uh, here if you open up that uh, it is a uh, nano standard uh, stanford.edu. Okay, uh, here you will find that the CNFET model Verilog A model is available here. So uh, uh, HSpice model is also available, but uh, we are uh, to, uh, to import it into Cadence and it is better to have a Verilog A model. Okay, so uh, you go to the Verilog A model here right so there is a Google form where you need to uh, give your affiliation uh, and also uh, your name and uh, things like that so it's a simple Google form uh, once you submit that uh, so you will be able to uh, download this zip folder okay Stan uh, Stanford CNFT model dot zip so you need to uh, download this so I have already uh, downloaded that form for you so let me just uh, show you uh, this is the uh, folder uh, once you, I have uh, it's a zip folder. I've extracted it So you will find a lot many uh, files out here. So there are uh, uh, and CNFET uh, related there are few files which is known as uh, uh, NCNFET dash L3 dot VA L2 and L1 so L3 dot L3 is the one which we are going to uh, use uh, as a model as a spice model but L1 and L2 uh, will be called for uh, by this uh, program okay so these are the uh, subroutines it will require these modules also so whenever we make a, we are going to make a folder uh, we are going to use all three of them uh, primarily this is going to be the uh, main very log a code but this is going to call for l2 and l1 so we need to have all these three and also the parameters uh, file is also uh, will be required uh, similarly for the uh, pt fit uh, so there are an uh, uh, pcn fit there is a full of files which are uh, pcn fit l3 l2 and l1 uh, and uh, uh, so these these also will be required for the uh, and even the uh, parameters we need to put it in the uh, PC and TFET folder also. So we'll go into the cadence environment and uh, see uh, what is to be done there. I will demonstrate to you step by step what is to be done. Yeah. So uh, this is the folder my working directory where I have all my cadence related files. So uh, I am going to open the terminal and uh, initiate a virtue so so uh, okay uh, so uh, this is and the first thing since i'm going to uh, work on um, very log a based code i am going to uh, change the editor uh, to uh, g edit right so mm, editor equal to within inverted commas uh, g edit okay so i'm going to uh, change that right and then uh, i'm going to file okay uh, so let me uh, close unwanted folders out here uh, yeah so uh, file okay uh, new library i'm going to create a new library Right. Let me uh, call it as uh, CNFET uh, attached to an existing technology library. Uh, I am using 45 nanometer, so I would uh, now want it to uh, use in a uh, co simulation methodology. So let me uh, attach it to the existing uh, technology. So I am attaching it to the existing technology that is 45 nanometer in my case. Then I am going to open up a new uh, schematic now new uh, cell view within the library which i had created so the library which i had uh, created was uh, cnfet okay now uh, what is the cell now uh, n uh, cnfet right that we are now i am going to demonstrate you how to make an n cnfet and uh, this is going to be very log a so very log a i have selected very log a okay so i'm going to create here so this opens up then uh, the uh, editor out here very log a so i have to keep the uh, downloaded uh, uh, folders in uh, uh, handy with me so these are the so this was the 
downloaded folder so if i i have uh, nt fit l3 dot dot uh, va so i'm going to open that okay uh, so i'm i'm going to leave the first uh, line out here okay uh, from include on what's i'm going to just uh, uh, copy everything till end module control c and then i'm going to uh, paste it here in the very log a uh, module okay so i'm going to uh, close this i'm going to uh, save this right and i'm going to minimize this uh, also uh, i said we need uh, if you see this very log a code uh, if you see here it is calling for uh, include it's calling for the l2 model right and and correspondingly l2 will call for uh, l1 and also it will require the parameter uh, files also so i'm going to uh, copy these files uh, l2 l1 uh, l1 and l2 and also the parameters one so i'm going to uh, copy this uh, control c and then uh, i'm going to this uh, folder uh, my working folder out here so, and then i created the library uh, right as cnfet so cnfet so uh, and, and and then i created this cell view and uh, and cnfet so i'm opening up and then you have a very log a so uh, here this is the very log a code which uh, i have just created so i'm going to uh, paste the uh, other required uh, for files also which is required by this very log a code right it, it, this is l actually l3 but it is going to call for l2 l2 is going to call for l1 and also you required parameters uh, file also okay uh, so that is done uh, now i'm going to uh, save this file out here and then i'm going to uh, close this right so uh, i can uh, close this also then it would say uh, that cell view of nvc does not exist do you want to create it okay uh, it is asking for whether you want to create an a uh, symbol for it yes we need to create a uh, symbol so it says an uh, source uh, substrate source grain rate and a couple notes so these are the terminals uh, which are available there so let me just uh, do uh, let me keep the uh, gate terminal uh, on the left hand side right let me put the uh, drains I, i'm just cutting it and pasting it okay uh, okay uh, let me put this uh, drain uh, on the top side let me put the uh, source pin i can do it there also but it, it's easy it, it to put it here uh, bottom i am going to put the uh, uh, the source uh, and this is the uh, substrate okay so let me cut this and put it substrate in the uh, right and I, I can let me put this couple node also control x uh, and the uh, right side okay uh, and then uh, i go okay so this is going to uh, create the uh, symbol okay so view zoom to fit okay uh, i really don't like the square boxes so let me uh, delete it off let me delete this mm, uh, and this is not uh, looking like an uh, cnft right so let me and uh, just delete this let me uh, draw uh, a cnft out here right Uh, pick up a uh, line from here All right i'm going to put a line here i'm going to uh, double click on this All right i'm going to move it Mo move is m shortcut for m i'm going to put the drain there i'm going to uh, put that move i'm going to move the uh, source out here I'm going to move the gate out here. Okay, uh, you you can make an, uh, any kind of an uh, symbol. So I just put these two substrates out here, and just to avoid confusion, uh, uh, let me change this name as N C N F E T. Right? Okay. So uh, let me put it here. 
right so this is how i, I create the uh, symbol okay so that that now i can uh, call this symbol into my uh, any other schematic and do the uh, simulations okay so let me uh, show you uh, one kind one simulation so file open uh, so uh, i think i have uh, already done some uh, cnfet characterizations so let me open up that schematic that will save some time so ncnfet okay oh sorry uh, file uh, open so n dc characteristics okay uh, so so this is the symbol uh, which i created this is slightly different okay uh, i had earlier uh, uh, this is not the exact symbol which we drew now the, I, I made it like this earlier okay so that's why this is looking like this so this is an uh, nc fit where i have uh, given the uh, uh, gate biasing here a voltage out here i'm going to sweep that voltage uh, i have given uh, the supply voltage uh, out here on the drain side and this is the ncnfet this is the second uh, uh, ncnfet uh, again so uh, to change the parameters uh, i can go q out here right and uh, tools okay so very log a so if i see here uh, here i have given it as uh, 45 nanometer uh, actually uh, i wanted to compare the performance with a 45 nanometer cmos so that is the reason i have given 45 nanometer you can use 32 nanometer or whatever uh, the case may be so uh, you can give this you can change this parameter length of the cnfet right okay now if you see uh, this uh, a, you we know that uh, in cnfet uh, 190 uh, gives an uh, low vt uh, uh, device whereas 10 0 gives an uh, high vt device so this is 19 0 uh, and this is the chiral, uh, chiral vectors 19 and 0 n1 and n2 that is different so you can change the parameters of these uh, device uh, from here okay uh, similarly uh, this is the next uh, cnfut if i go to the uh, uh, q and then go to the parameters very log a parameters here i have used an a 10 0 and a chiral vector so it is 10 0 out here right okay so that is only the difference this is an high uh, high vt device this is an uh, low vt device okay so uh, launch adl session uh, i already uh, saved it id vgs curves so let me uh, load it up right so so let me not bother about the uh, p p c and effect let me just demonstrate to you what is so i'm sweeping the uh, uh, <coughs> vgs voltage out here and let's and plotting the uh, currents okay so when I do that, right, so uh, this is the uh, kind of uh, curves, two curves which I am getting it. Uh, this is for the 19.0 and this is for the uh, 10 0. This has got a higher VT and this has got a lower VT. So you can see the uh, difference in the uh, IDVG curves of these two. Uh, CNTF, uh, CNFET devices. Okay, so you can use, uh, you can change the parameters of this uh, CNFET. So similarly, and the same uh, procedure holds good for making an uh, uh, PCNFET also, right? You need to create a cell view, very log a uh, cell view, uh, naming it as PCNFET, and then you paste the data of uh, uh, PCNFET dash L3, and then also in that folder wherever that you have created the cell view, you need to uh, paste the corresponding uh, L2 and L1 files and the parameter files. So once that is done, then you will be able to uh, call that into uh, call that. Uh, you need to create a symbol also, and then you can call these devices into other schematics and change the parameters by pressing Q, and then you go to very log A. So the, all the parameters, the, the length uh, and the uh, uh, actually generally we change only the uh, length of the CNFET uh, and the uh, chiral vectors which is 19 and 0 here or 10 0 or uh, for standard VT you, you can give 13 0 so and also you can change the number of uh, 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 CN uh, uh, tubes okay so this is given as CNTPO last in the last one so you can change the uh, number of uh, tubes also so generally we change the length we change the number of tubes uh, number 
number of tips you you, you can call it uh, something equivalent to the width of a mosfet okay so by increasing the width instead of increasing on the width in cnft generally we'll uh, increase the number of uh, cn uh, the number of tubes okay so uh, length w and then also you have an flexibility of changing the threshold voltage so that can be changed by proper uh, choice of n1 and n2 okay so if you see the uh, waveform here it is very very clear that uh, this has got a much lower vt than the green one which is for 10 0 this is for 19 0 so this is how uh, we can do make circuits out of cnft okay uh, thanks a lot if you have any doubts you can uh, post queries in my youtube channel i will try and answer them thanks a lot